The defining issue for an entire generation is housing and increasing rents. And it's a more defining issue and a more real issue than all of the talk spouted about climate policy because it affects so many people, housing and rents. Indeed, we are all aware that the current rates of rent are unsustainable for most working families, including those who rely on HAP and other payments. Indeed, a recent analysis of trends in the Irish residential sales market showed that the biggest year-on-year -year increases in this state was actually in my own county of Offaly. And I needn't have been told that by that survey because I, I actually did know that from the volume of calls that I'm receiving into my offices all of the time. Um, you know, we have a situation also in Leash where the year on year increases almost 10%, I believe. So we do need to tackle this issue. But I do want to point out that many people are trapped in the rental sector because of, let's say, the lack of action in terms of our forestry crisis. Young couples cannot build their homes because of the crisis and, and the cost of timber. And that's forcing them to remain in the rental sector. We do have that situation. We also have a situation where vulture funds are not regulated and can do as they please with people. And in terms of uh, repossessions of homes, that's also forcing droves of people into the rental market. I do think that government does need to be proactive. Government does need to be more compassionate. And government does need to take action in relation to these issues of regulation of vulture funds and also sorting out the mess in our forestry crisis. I'm aware in two of my towns in the constituency, Tullamore and Edenderry, that renters are paying well over €1,000 a month. That's not sustainable. It's not right. It was an issue before the pandemic, and it's still an issue. And it's now becoming a real crisis. And I'm asking this government to take urgent action because I see the suffering and hardship of my own constituents in Leash Offaly. Thank you.